Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a get ready with me video. Got things in. This is really hard to talk in. But I'm doing a get ready with me video and I'm going to show you guys how I get ready for Halloween. This is what I'm being for Halloween this year. Mavis from Hotel Transylvania. If you have not seen that movie, you have to. Hotel Transylvania and then Hotel Transylvania 2. Those movies are so, so cute. And then, so I'm Mavis and then Johnny, my boyfriend, he's going to be Johnny. How cute is that? So super excited I hope you guys are excited for this video I've also teamed up with Scentbird for this video to share with you guys their awesome website I am so so excited to share this with you guys so yeah stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> So I figured I'd go ahead and talk about Scentbird now before we get started that way. You don't have to wait to hear about this until the end of the video. So Scentbird is a subscription service where you can date perfumes before you marry them. <laughs> I just thought that sounded really cute, but for real, it's only $14.95 and you can try any designer perfume you want before committing to a full bottle. So this site is going to be great for those of you who love to switch up their perfumes but hate spending $100 on each bottle. So it comes in this cute chic bottle that you can reuse every Every time they send your replacement perfume. They have over 350 designer fragrances to choose from and you're saving about 50% by using Scentbird because even if you wanted to buy a small rollerball of a fragrance, Scentbird is still cheaper. So the fragrance I'm trying right now is Honey from Marc Jacobs and I think I plan to wear this on Halloween night too and since this little guy is so great for travel, I can take this with me out for the night. Anyways, I know I'm going on and on so I will leave a link down below if you guys want to find out more. So now to begin the makeup, I'm starting off by priming my face with my skin primer from 100% Pure Cosmetics. For foundation, I want to go a little lighter than my skin tone since Mavis is a vampire, but I don't want to look like white like a clown. So I'm mixing my foundation with a little bit of white from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and applying that all over my face. Now I'm just setting all of that with a translucent powder from IT Cosmetics. With the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm taking the matte black eyeshadow and filling in my eyebrows. I'm going to try to keep them thin since Mavis has pretty thin eyebrows, but since I'm not like blocking out or concealing my brows, um, I'm, I kind of just have to do the best I can. So, um, to the best of your ability, try to make them as thin as you can. Oh my gosh, so I just got these Metal Crush eyeshadows from Kat Von D and I'm so excited to use them. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow primer and apply that on both of my lids. Now I'm going through to find which color would work best for this look and I ended up going with Raw Power which is this gorgeous maroon color and I actually plan to use this in my crease so we will get back to this color in a little bit. Now for eyeshadows, I'm starting with this matte brown shade from the palette and sweeping that into my crease. This is going to help the colors blend and transition a lot better when we start to apply them. Now I'm going in with the matte black eyeshadow and packing that all over my lid and I'm going a little past my crease as well. And then I'm going to grab a small pencil brush to help get the color as close to my lash line as possible and pack on the color. I want the blackest part to be by my lashes. With Raw Power, which is that maroon color from the Kat Von D Metal Crush Collection, I'm going to start blending this into the crease or where the black ends on our lids. And I'm going to keep going back and forth with the colors to make sure they blend really nicely together. I'm dragging the black eyeshadow with a pencil brush on my lower lash line and then lining my eyes with a black pencil liner. You can totally line your eyes with liquid liner, but since the black eyeshadow is so dark, I didn't really see the need to do so. Now I'm adding a ton of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. By the way, if you want a list of all the products mentioned in this video, be sure to read the description box and I've also included links for you guys to make it easier for you. Now I'm going to quickly do the same thing to the next eye and then we can finish off our makeup. Once the eyes are done, I'm going to move back to the face and add some subtle freckles. You don't always see them in the movie, but in some pictures you can see some very faint freckles on Mavis' face. Fun fact, not many people know this, but I actually do have freckles, so I'm just going to enhance those right now with a little bit of a matte brown eyeshadow and a small liner brush. I'm using the same Kat Von D eyeshadow primer on my lips to cover them up because I'm going to make my lips itty bitty. I naturally, <laughs> I sounded really weird just now. I naturally have little bird lips, but Mavis has even smaller lips, so I'm going to take the black from my Makeup Forever Flash palette and start to draw some little lips. 
You can always just use a black eyeliner for this part as well. I'm going to set it with some black eyeshadow and then clean up the edges with some concealer. Now to finish off the look, I'm adding a little bit of blush to my cheekbones and then onto my nose to give me a more youthful, innocent look like Mavis. Now we can add our vampire fangs! I've never done this before so it took me a little while to figure out but I went ahead and followed the instructions and waited 5 minutes for each fang to dry and there you go! Super awesome vampire fangs! I am really obsessed with these. They look really cool, they're kind of hard to talk in but they look really really cool. For my hair, I'm going to throw on a black wig cap and then put on this black wig that I got from Party City. The bangs were a little long for me, so once I had it on, I went ahead and trimmed them in the bathroom to fit my face a little better. Now it's time to change into our outfit, so let's go! My dress is from Forever 21 and my arm sleeves are from Party City. My shoes are from Target and my tights are from the Spirit Halloween store. So that's it for this super easy Mavis costume. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see pictures of me and my boyfriend Johnny dressed as Mavis and Johnny on Halloween night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the link below for Scentbird. I'm telling you, if you love smelling good and hate spending a fortune on perfumes, you're going to love this site. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what are you going to be for Halloween this year. So. Yeah. Also, if you want to check out Scentbird, I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween. Mwah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah.